Hello awesome people, welcome back to Software Inc. And today we're gonna talk about specializations and skills and what's the difference. Now in future, in previous alphas there was not really a difference. Uh, you could train someone and they would be just better at that skill. Uh, and there were not really requirements uh, for how good someone needed to be to work on something. Uh, the thing was, if, he, if his, his or her skill was very low, they, were, they would be, well, bad quality, but lots of bugs, but also very slow speed. Now, certain things are still the same. If we go into, uh, into this, uh, this little screen over here, and for instance, we'll take myself. This is, by the way, season five of my playthrough, if you're wondering why, you know, what this is. Um, you can find it on my channel, but now speaking about the actual topics so specializations and skills and what's the difference. Now, this is my character here. This, this is my starting character, as you can see here by the zero, zero dollars, euros, whatever you insert here. Um, salary, this is my own character, uh, and you can see the different skills here. Now, you can also see, which is very important because a lot of people did, don't actually notice, you can see the points left. This is how many points you have left to train into these categories so my character here is fully fully done uh we, uh, we can't invest any more points in the specializations areas uh let's actually see a uh, leader uh, same thing and service same thing so he, he doesn't really have any training sessions left but if we go like one up uh we can see that this this uh this girl she has like points left in different areas so one in design three in programming and two in art uh, so that's the way you can actually plan stuff out for your characters if you want to uh, want to do that. But that's that's only specializations. Now, what are specializations? Because specializations are quite important, but skills also quite important, and it's definitely different things. Um, so the most easiest, so basically the easiest way I can come up with to explain this is to compare what you can do. So, skill, for instance, let's say coding skill. Uh, the coding skill of my character is 100%. That, that means it's maxed out. So he will be working most efficiently. So with the highest speed, um, the less, the, you know, the, 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 he will not cause as many bugs as other people because he's very skilled uh, and uh, he will provide high quality work. So that's that ties in with the quality, but also with the uh, with the speed and the, the sort of the, the, the less bugs pr uh, in, in, inside the project. Uh, that he brings to the table. Now, of course, there are other people working on product uh, projects, so you will always get bugs, even if you have all people at 100% skill, uh, but they will be very, very fast and efficient and good quality. That's basically what you need to, to know about skill. Um, skill doesn't really involve what they can do, though. Um, you have certain parameters for projects uh, to, to work with. For instance, if you want to have a, let's actually take this with us. So let's actually show you guys. So for instance, if we want to make a, uh, let's just take something simple like an antivirus, because this is this is something that a lot of people start out with, like an antivirus or a 2D editor. Um, let's actually let's do a 2D editor. That's probably even even more of a uh, a thing to start out with for most people. Now, when we start creating this, you can see that we can, we can create uh, this thing without any of these features. Uh, we could create this and it would be a product, but if we want to add these features, you can see here, for instance, if we want to add a uh, brush stroke smoothing, we will need one star in uh, 2D graphics. Uh, as well, you know, we need design, but also programming because we need to design this one star feature, but we also need to program it. Let's get the music back, right? Um, so that is something that you need to uh, to remember. So if you are adding these these certain features, for instance, we could add all of these features, having a, having people uh, only have one star in 2D graphics design and one star in 2D graphics programming. Uh, that's it. So same thing goes for system. We have one star here. We could add this in. They only need one star, but you also have things that need two stars and three stars. That's where the specializations come into play. So for instance, if we wanted to make a 2D graphics, um, uh, 2D graphics uh, with three stars, so beautify this, this, this little feature, we want to add that. We will need three stars in 2D graphics design and three stars in 2D graphics programming. Now, if we're gonna take a look right here, 
For instance, my guy could actually do that because he has three stars in 2D design and three stars in 2D programming. And he also has three stars in 2D art. So if we need some 2D art for that, that will also work out because he has the three stars. Uh, you can always check on the product what, what you need. So make sure to do that so that you it won't, it won't end up with features that you can't actually develop yet. Uh, but you can also just train your guys or hire someone who has the certain specializations that you need. The bottom line is that skill is important because skill decides the, a lot of the quality of the product and the speed in which it is make and the, the amount of bugs that will end up in the project uh, in the product. But the specializations are also very important because you can't add certain features if you don't have those specializations. Now keep in mind that you don't need one guy to unlock that feature. You know, you, you can put in the feature without any of them being compatible with that certain project, um, but they won't build the feature. So you basically will be stuck at like 90% completion uh, at, at, at that point. Um, let's get the music back again. Uh, at that point, you also have to think about, you know, what if I would add a free star 2D uh, feature? Why is the music not coming back? Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, if, if we want to, would to add that, that free star feature here, we have me that could work on it because we have three stars in these categories. But if we go to her, for instance, she doesn't have three stars. So that means that she can't work on that feature. She will work on the project because she will do everything that she can work on based on her specializations, but she won't work on the free star part of the project because she can't do that. She's not specialized enough. That is the most important difference between skills and specializations. Uh, it's, I guess, the easiest way I can explain it. So skills is more important for the actual overall quality, the speed and the efficiency mostly, and the specializations enables things to be added to, to the product. Now, if I say that skill is mostly related to the quality and stuff, you would actually go that, well, why would I add all those features if I could just make a very good product only by skill? That's not really the case, because if we would make like an operating system without any of these features, you could see here, we could make it very fast because we don't add in these features. We don't need as many people, uh, but it's only gonna have an expected interest of 13%. That is, so basically it won't really sell well, uh, even though we have a huge consumer reach. Now, if we add in a few of these things, you can see that the consumer, uh, the expected interest goes up. We also need more people and the ETA, so the est estimated time of arrival, uh, is going up because you add more features, it takes more time. So it's always a, a sort of a, a, um, a, 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 a sort of a project is always two sides, so skill and specialization. You, and you need to add skill to, for, for speed and efficiency and quality, which you also need to add in these features for extra quality and extra interest in the product. Because who wants to buy a uh, a 2D editor who can't, you know, which can't do anything related to 2D editing, basically. Uh, so that's how it goes. Uh, it, it's actually not the hardest thing, but a lot of people have been mentioning this as a problem for them. They don't really understand. Now, my last final tip would be, if you are making a character, try to think about what you're gonna start with. So if you're, for instance, my character, we're, we were gonna start with, I think it was games in this, yeah, in this game, in this season it was games. So I started to put in, in uh, effort into system because system is needed for most things. Uh, you can make uh, games, with it, but also antiviruses to the editors. You, you need it for most things. You need system design and system programming. Um, so I added that in so that I could at least add the first few features. Now the skill wasn't particularly high on this guy uh, at the start, but you know that will come with with basically doing things uh, right. But if you're hiring people, make sure to have at least medium skill because low skill is not very valuable anymore in this game. It used to be that you could just take them up and train them, but now with the training system that trains specializations and not skill per se, it's kind of different. So low low skill workers are not really the way to go anymore. Uh, I used this. Uh, I used to do this in the in the past, but now I definitely go for at least medium priced people medium paid people um, so that they are medium skilled and they can train up that little bit faster because they will train up their skill just by doing these things. That's why uh, my my guy Hipbone here has 100% leading skill, 100% coding skill, 
and you see all these other percentages. So that's basically how it works, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any more topics you want me to talk about, I have, I have made a list, by the way. I'm gonna do more of these videos. Uh, but if you have any more, then make sure to leave a comment or join the Discord. The link is down in the description. As always, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if it was useful for you and come and join the community if you want to see more of Software Inc. actually play playing style the seasons you can find on the channel. And as always, I've been Ibo and you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching.